Okay, this is to help with the horse barn free response question, AP Computer Science A. And first thing on this question is it has an interface in it, which is something we didn't talk about this year. But you can pretty much treat this like it's a class. And so basically we have a horse representing a, like a physical horse that has a name and a weight, right? So I made it here in Eclipse if you want to see. It has two... It would have two private variables, at least two, name and weight, and then you have a method that gets the name and gets the weight, right? And you can imagine a constructor where they just send that information in, right? So basically, even though it says interface, treat it like a horse class, and then we're going to make little horse objects that have names and weights. All right, so it says then that we've got a second class called horse barn, and then you have these spaces. So kind of like think of stalls in a barn and you're going to physically put horses in them. And if the space is empty, then it, it's going to be null. Part A asks, asks us to look through this array of horses for a specific name, right? So we're going to look at the horses one at a time and see if it has a matching name. And we want to turn the position of the horse, right? Obviously not the name, but the position. Okay, so just visualizing this. Basically, if this is what our uh, array look like called spaces, I guess I should have typed that in here. If this thing is the spaces array, then we're just going to loop through it starting at zero up to less than the length, right? Because the length would be seven and we want to stay less than that. And we just check um, if, the, if the horse at that spot, right, has the name. So we got to get the horse and then call the get name method and see if it matches the name that comes in, right? So we're going to need in our horse class, we're going to need to call this get name method and see if it matches the name that is in there, right? And then the only thing we do have to watch out for as we're looping through here, if we hit a no one, if we try and call get name on that, we're going to get a null pointer exception. So we're going to have to check if it's not null, then check its name, right? So we're just going to loop through and check uh, one at a time. So you can see some examples here. Um, if you said trigger, it'd return position zero because that's where trigger is. If we do silver, it return position two. And if we do cocoa, it does not exist in this horse barn, so it just returns negative one. Okay, so here we go with the code. Um, so we're going to loop through every position uh, and get the horse at that position. So you could do an enhanced for loop here, it'd actually be pretty good. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna do a regular for loop. So I'm gonna do int i starting at zero. So just like we were demoing visually in here, i is gonna loop all the way through from zero to less than the length. Okay, and um, the thing we're looping through is this array of horses. Right, these aren't strings, remember these are horse objects and called spaces, and we have access to in this method because it's kind of like a global variable. Right, so we're going to loop through it and we're going to look at horses one at a time. So I'm going to call it horse, horse equals, I'm getting the ith horse. So basically I'm going to take the ith horse from space to store it in horse, and I want to see if this horse has uh, this name. Right, so it's tempting to want to say like if horse dot equals um, name, right? But the the problem with that is horse is a is a horse object and name is a string. So we're checking is a horse thing equal to a string. So we don't want to do that. We want to check the name from the horse. So we have to call get name for each horse object and then check that. That'll be a string against this string. So I have to call horse.getName and see if that equals the name that came in. Okay, and if it did, then I want to return the position we're on, which would be i, right? Because we're at the ith horse matched the name that came in. After the for loop is done running, um, if we never return anything in the for loop, then we must have not found the horse. So then I want to return negative one. All right, and then the only other problem or the only other flaw with this is if the horse was null, right, which can happen, right, you could have a null space, 
then when you try to call get name, it'll do a null pointer exception. So I need to add a thing here that says if horse is not equal to null and the name equals name, then return it. Okay, and um, this is that short circuit evaluation where it won't even run this second part if the first part is false, right? Because false and anything is going to be false. So we that's kind of what we want here is if this fails, then we don't even do the get name check. Um, so doing that short circuit evaluation um, should hopefully help us uh, in this problem. All right, that is it for part A. Uh, second video for part B. Let me know if any of this doesn't make sense.